Kia ora te whanau, me again. So we're on week four for Kahau Scholarship. Um, this week on Sunday we had a belief changer in. Her name is Jen Harper. She's the owner of Cheekbone Beauty. Um, go check her out. I just had a look at her page, her website before, and she does makeup, bright colours. Um, I haven't tried it myself, and yeah, but go check her out, Cheekbone Beauty. Um, and it has, it has a little bit about her backstory, about what she's about. Um, so, yeah, she spoke to us on Sunday. Um, she told us a bit about her background, um, the generational traumas and curses that run through her family, uh, one being alcoholism. And pretty much she's broken that cycle. Um, she was an alcoholic. Her dad was an alcoholic, you know, and, you know, back, back. Um, she's broken that. Um, yeah, strong woman, very, very strong woman, um, lost her brother to suicide at the age of 30, 32, um, yeah, and hearing her backstory was really, um, really inspiring to show where she's come from and her whanau and how she's doing so well now and she's broken those generational curses and traumas really in her whanau so yeah that was cool um so one thing I got from her was to be consistent like with our businesses be consistent that it's not going to take a day it's not going to take a few you know she, like she worked on her business before it even was set up for like a few years thousands of hours she said so um that's something I need to remember um is that it's an everyday thing. It's not just a one-off thing. Like, every day, do something on your business. Be consistent and pretty much keep pushing yourself to do better and better and better. Um, another thing I got from her was not to undervalue ourselves or undervalue our work. So um, don't sell ourselves short. Um, which made me think, really, about me and my business, um, and my why. So yeah, like for me, my why is my children. So as I've probably told you all, my daughter drew the Uenuku, one of my biggest sellers, the, the rainbow, the Uenuku dresses. So that was her design. She drew that on my iPad with my Apple pen and we thought, hey, well, should we just make that into a t-shirt? She's like, yeah, okay, let's put the Māori colours on it, you know, because we are te reo, te reo Māori clothing. So I did that. And the smile on her face when she wears her design and when she sees other people wearing her design, that's what it's all about. It's like just seeing that, like, yeah, I did, you know. And that's, what, that's why I started doing what I was doing because – I was making them at home for my kids and then I had people asking, you know, asking me, oh, can I, can I get, so, oh, well, I might as well just start up a business. And then seeing the kids' faces when I was giving it to them, like they just, just the glow on their face knowing that, oh, you know, and I'd let kids come over and design stuff at home and then put it on and wear it. So it just like seeing the kids' faces happy is what, it's about, and if everyone knows, well, not everyone knows, but, so I've shared a lot of my past life, I say past life because I'm not that person anymore, my past life with everyone, um, the violence that we all, me and my children have been through for so long, um, so we didn't really have much smiling back then, like, smiling was something that wasn't really seen in our house, so, you know, since everything's changed and and seeing my kids smiling all the time, it's just, I love it. And that that's my why. My why is my children. Um, and to continue seeing those smiles on other children's faces, mm, yeah, that's what makes me happy. And that's why I like to do what I do because I love children and I love seeing children happy. Yeah. So going back to underselling myself, like my, it's never been a really about the money. The only thing for me is I like to have enough money to stay on afloat, 
to be able to keep doing what I'm doing. But now I've got to start thinking about what Jen said is not to not to undercut ourselves. Don't sell ourselves short. So that's something that I'll be focusing on. Um, you know, not so I can just sustain myself and stay afloat, but to maybe grow, to help me grow. So, yeah. Um, yeah, she was really she was really good. She actually spoke about a lot more things, but I'm not going to keep this video too long. Um, it's already been five minutes. But, yeah, um, I'll be back tomorrow with video two for week four um, about our... Uh, uh, module that we've done this week. Pull my dear.